everyone. Welcome to the Daily Faith Builder. Hope you're doing well this morning. Let me ask you this morning, are you struggling to stay persistent and expectant in your prayer life? It's kind of a loaded question because we all, uh, if we're honest, we would say that we struggle with that uh, and struggle with our prayer and being consistent and being expectant in our prayer. It's hard to keep praying for things where we don't see breakthrough. But this is where faith comes in. This is also where it is absolutely critical for each of us to have faith friends and people in our lives that are encouraging us and pushing us on to stay at it, to stay consistent in prayer and to build our faith. Uh, we need uh, testimonies. That helps us to stay there. And we also need uh, Jesus used parable stories to, to, to encourage us, to, to inspire us, to, to, to keep our faith when it comes to our prayer life um, going. I think also for a lot of us, if we have a disappointment, if we had a, a, a prayer request that didn't get answered or we didn't come get the outcome that we thought we desired, is boy, it sets us back. That This is a real test of our faith to see if we're going to continue to press in with expectation uh, and to build our faith. Jesus gave a parable in Luke 18. I want to share that just to encourage us this morning. And you probably know this is the persistent widow. Let me just read this and uh, just point out a couple things for us this morning. Jesus said he told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. In other words, as Jesus is telling this parable because he knew the reality that it is it's easy for a prayer life just to kind of dwindle and for it to lose faith and, and expectation and, and pleading and crying before God. Um, and it's easy to lose heart is we lose expectation. We lose that persistence. We lose. And then what happens in that time is we can be tempted to, uh, to uh, really start questioning the goodness of God in those times. But he tells this parable, he said, In a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor respected man. And there was a widow in that city who kept coming to him and saying, Give me justice against my adversary. For a while he refused, but afterward he said to himself, Though I neither fear God nor respect man, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will give her justice so that she will not beat me down by her continual coming. Other translation says, So she won't wear me out. And the Lord said, hear what the unrighteous judge says, and will not God give justice to his elect who cry to him day and night? Will he delay long over them? I tell you, he will give justice to them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? So there's two things going on with this parable that Jesus is giving to encourage his disciples and to encourage us today. One is just across the board, the importance of staying at prayer continually until Jesus returns. This, this prayer is about uh, staying faithful until he returns, but also just staying faithful in the things every day that we're praying for. And again, as I said, the only way we can do this is to have people, prayer partners, faith friends, people who, uh, who call us and encourage us, pray with us, and keep us at the task of going and pleading before God. And the, the definition he asked for us is crying before God, right? His children, he expects to cry before him day and night. The other thing about this parable is he says, will he find faith when he returns? In other words, what God is, is so uh, looking for uh, and honors in his children is faith. And that faith is, is shown in prayer where uh, his children continually come to him uh, asking and expecting him to move and, and he promises he will, well, maybe not in our timing, but he will respond uh, to our prayers. I hope this encourages you this morning. Let's stay at our, on our knees, especially during this time, lifting up our nation, lifting up uh, all those that are hurting and sick with the coronavirus. Um, let's really go with expectation that God would push this, this uh, pandemic back for his glory. Have a great day.